Welcome to Rome Lab. A year ago, we bought this 1970 Avion Ultra truck camper, and we have been renovating it ever since. Today, we are checking out the MetalTech Safe Climb Baker style scaffold. After one too many close calls while working on the Avion's roof, we decided we needed some scaffolding. Initially, I planned to build a scaffold with our scrap lumber, but after a little searching, we were drawn in by the multi-purpose benefits of buying a modular scaffold. So after a little googling and weighing of our options, we bought a MetalTech SafeClimb 6-foot scaffold. The box the scaffold comes in is 75 inches long, 30 and a half inches wide, and 5 and a quarter inches deep, easily fitting into our truck bed. With all that steel, the scaffold weighs 140 pounds, so it took two people to load and unload. This scaffold is six feet tall, six feet wide, and two and a half feet deep when assembled using one and a half inch square steel tubes. The scaffold sits on five inch locking casters. The modular design allows the work platform to sit as low as 27 inches or as high as 76 inches with a load capacity of 1,100 pounds. While there is also a slightly less expensive version of the scaffold available, this scaffold includes a climb through opening for easy accessibility. The directions for assembly leave a little something to be desired. At least IKEA instructions don't confuse me with vague language. That said, the scaffold doesn't really require very specific directions. There is no need for tools, as the scaffold comes with any joints that are not meant to move already welded together. Sure, it makes for a large, unwieldy box, but it also makes for a simple and impressively solid structure. Assembly only took me a few minutes. The wheels fit snugly into the feet of the frame and are held in place with locking pins. The wheels also easily lock and unlock for stability and mobility. The four sides of the scaffold are attached with an assortment of additional locking pins. This makes for an easy adjustment as well as setup and breakdown. The attachment points are at two inch increments for the right height in every project. I am not very strong at all. The toughest part of the assembly was lifting the scaffold into an upright position and laying the platform on the braces. Nevertheless, it would have been a piece of cake for one strong person or two average people to complete. Once assembled, the scaffold has proven to be quite handy. It is easy to move around and fairly stable. It does wiggle slightly when at higher levels, but that is to be expected when the joints are movable. The scaffold does not wobble to a dangerous degree. We'll see how durable the scaffold proves to be in the long run. It has a thick yellow powder coat, though I did already nick a few of the corners while I struggled to lift the frame. One aspect of the scaffold that I am likely to modify in the near future is the strap that supports the climb through opening in the platform. It is just slightly too short to stay open on its own. I understand that this is likely a safety consideration so that it will always stay closed by itself, but it also means I have to hold it open when I climb into the platform. In addition, I may bolt the bars in place for longer term projects, rather than using the locking pins. The pins allow for a little play that the bolts should prevent. Overall, the hardest part of this scaffold proved to be getting the heavy box into and out of our truck. Aside from that, it is easy to assemble and I look forward to using it for upcoming projects. If you have any questions or insights about the scaffold or scaffolding in general, please share it in the comments. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube so we know we are doing a good job. From the Rome Lab crew, we wish you happy trails wherever you may roam.